So I was, uh, it, it, and this is some of the trip that Paul wasn't uh, with me on. I just kind of want to fill you in on, is I was even further north for uh, half the trip here. And in this country, it's, a, it's a, proclaimed one of the biggest mosques on earth. And I was there. And uh, it, this country is uh, over 30 million. And there's probably about two to three uh, thousand believers as well. Uh, they, because the Arab Spring, the government's really been watching groups, and they clamp down on Christians and kick people out and on and on. And so I was uh, just praying and hearing some amazing things. And I, I went through that mosque and viewed it and prayed over and thanked the Lord for the day that people would be, be worshiping Jesus in it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and I really felt like the Holy Spirit spoke to me and, and saying, David, I am drawing these people to myself. That time is coming. And I just felt that all through North Africa. And I was able to reflect again on what God is doing, seeing something very unique. I mean, again, we're in a time, consider, that most Muslims have ever responded to Christ. But I think we've only seen the, ice, uh, uh, the tip of the iceberg. Ten years ago, before that, all those countries uh, were dictatorships. By the way, I'm about to come up with an article out there this week. I'm gonna write, I've written on this, and you'll see it come on an email. If you don't get our email updates, please register yourself on our website. Because uh, this is what, the, what I did the article on is the um, Arab Spring, uh, it, it with a question mark. Uh, when is the Arab summer soul harvest? Mm -hmm. And what I saw, and I saw this in all of North Africa, talking to Muslims, talking to the Muslim background believers. Again, the dictatorships, no religious freedom, uh, or I mean freedom of press or journalism. Uh, control that, and for 1,400 years, there's been no criticism and, and really platform easily to critique, uh, criticize Islam, the challenge Islam. In the last 10 years, there's been a major turnaround. Because think about what, and 9 11 all of a sudden gave the West interest, and we started sending journalists over there, and we started advertising and talking about the Islamic world. The internet exploded in the Islamic world the last decade, and, and access to it. Satellite TV became even more accessible. More access, like Al Jazeera, they, they're 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 a channel, and we don't agree with all their 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 reporting, maybe. But you know what? They're looking for stories all the time, and they're reporting more and more. And now the Arab Spring comes. Now the Arab Springs, we've seen now the fruit, and that's what I thought from the beginning, and we're definitely seeing it come out this way. It was a rejection of what they saw of corrupt leaders, of really secular Islamic uh, society. And now what the knee-jerk response to is a fundamentalism, both uh, in the last two months now, Morocco, Tunisia, where it all started the Arab Spring, and Egypt have all voted for fundamental, uh, fundamental um, governments. And so, I, 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 and even Isaiah 19, uh, 19.4 says, that it says, the Lord God, I will turn them over to a hard master. Mm -hmm. And you know, God has shown his, his pattern through Scripture. Many times he turns us over to the desire of our heart. Right? The prodigal son. The prodigal wanted his inheritance. Did the father stop him from that? Here, son, have it. Because I don't care about my inheritance. What I want is your heart. Mm -hmm. And so God's, I see, turning the Islamic world over to Islam so that they can no longer have this idea of a utopia of Islam. Because in the past, they always thought it was utopia. They thought if they really did it the way Allah wanted and in the Quran, it'd be a perfect society. Mm -hmm. But now they're beginning to experience it's not that way. And I talked to Muslims who said, wow, Islam's really having some serious problems. In this Arab Spring, he said, Muslims are killing Muslims. Mm -hmm. And this one uh, waiter told me, he said, you know, I've seen your Christians, uh, and, I, and I've seen how you love one another, because and, and I, I shared with him, that's the reason I was there, because of the love of God that put in uh, me to come here. And, he, and I shared with him how ultimately the end of Scripture is love God, love others. And he was profoundly moved by that. Um, you know, this is a new, I think, opportunity within North Africa like never before. So while the outside of Islam looks fierce and it looks mighty and it looks like, wow, can we ever impact these people? You know what? God loves the impossible. Amen. Right? Because we know God loves good stories. Mm -hmm. And God's making a great story and he's allowing all of us to have a part. And to simply come beside the witnesses, the martyrs of bold faith and love who are already there.